enough, Rosa. Seagard's gone too far this time. Welcome to Newell's. Let me know if you need help with anything. Oh my, do I? That's awful. I should be taking better care of my customers. You'll have to excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at the Merchant Alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghardt, who he's angry at for paying off Neon security. I don't believe he is, no. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do to survive. Just, um, please don't tell James I said that. I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. Well, thank you. I can't remember the last time a total stranger walked into our store and offered to help. It would be so lovely to see my James happy again. He used to smile at me all the time, you know. Now all I see is worry on his face. I suppose you can speak with him about it if you like. But perhaps you'd like to browse our store a bit before you do? Stop by again soon. If you'd like to buy something, I'd be happy. Dietrich is actually quite a lovely man. Though lately he's been under a lot of pressure, which has made him rather bitter. When we first opened our business here in Akuchi Market, he was actually very helpful. Offered us advice. Didn't treat us like competition at all. I'm sorry, I just don't believe Dietrich is doing anything wrong paying off Neon security. We all do what we have to do to survive in this wretched city. Unfortunately, my husband is convinced that fighting City Hall is the way to solve all of Neon's problems. I think he's wrong. Have now, James, I don't want you to get up. Hello there! Let me know if you need anything. My dear mother would have said the same thing. The fees here are quite expensive, and I'm barely making ends meet. But I've always been quite stubborn. It has not always been easy, but I've been at this location for eight years, and I won't give up! My business is my pride and joy. You won't find another store like mine on Neon. So please, support my business with your patronage. You won't be disappointed. Yes, I'm aware of James's objections. That's partly why I don't go to the meetings. But if I don't pay Dexler, I'll lose my business. And what good would joining the Alliance do then? So, really, I don't have a choice here. If they want to fight Neon Security, they can. But I need to protect my livelihood. Easy for him to say, he doesn't have my debts. If I don't pay Dexla, I might lose my inventory. And if I lose my inventory, I'll lose my store. You would vouch for them? Hmm. I suppose if they are willing to pool their resources, or should I say our resources, we would have some leverage. It is not a great deal of leverage, mind you, but with all of us working together, it may be enough. Okay, you've convinced me. I will stop paying Dexler his safety assurance fee. And tell the Newells I will come to the next meeting. Maybe I will even bring some beverages and snacks. You can't stand up to Neon Security on an empty stomach. I had it. 
If you're looking for supplies, this is the place. Well, I'll be. And all you had to do was... talk to him? Meanwhile, I was so damn stubborn, I made this whole thing harder than it had to be. Given you almost went blind, working with half a kilo of fish cuts in your eye. Yeah, I'd agree. And I'd still be wandering around that storage vat helpless, if not for you. Thanks for your help on this. The Merchants' Alliance is finally united. I don't know if we'll ever get a fair shake in the city, but it's a start.